What's up, fam? It's me, and I'm back real quick uh, because uh, I've got some breaking news, and there's some new stories coming out, and there's some information that you guys really, really need to have. And um, plus, this is my granddaughter's weekend, so I want to try to get in as much as I can because you know when she's here, sometimes it's not possible for me to um, to get a, a, a video uploaded. So I want to get in as much information as I can uh, before this weekend sets in and she gets here. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's being smart and I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everybody, I hope all foundational black Americans, all black, all black folks, actually, uh, uh, whether you be foundational black American, whether you be a uh, black immigrant, whether you be black LGBT. Q or whatever we need to be setting aside all of that other stuff and we just need to be coming together as black folks and getting on cold we need to stop all of this coonery all of this buffoonery uh, uh all of this but uh, uh, uh boot licking and buck dancing and tap dancing we're in bed winching we need to stop all of that we need to stop all of that and we need to be coming together as black people because the uh the anti-black war is is ramping up is ramping up as we can see with what's going on with our kids as we can see with what's going on in these schools as as, as we can see with all of these um divide and conquer tactics and all of this uh gender div dividing that they're trying to do as we can see with all of this the war against black folks in america is ramping up white supremacy is ramping up is war and, and 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 we need to be getting on cold like the white folks are getting on cold like the white folks stay on cold like the asians are on cold you understand what i'm saying and how all of these other groups are on cold with white supremacy you got the asians on cold with white supremacy and now they're targeting black people and, and, and trying to uh, uh turn us into one great big criminal uh you got the hispanics that are on cold with white supremacy you got all of these other groups that are on cold with white supremacy and we're running around here off cold with each other and trying to be on cold with these other groups that are all formed against us and at the end of the day just like they did with Meghan Markle and just like uh, they did with Stacey Dash and just like they're gonna do with all the rest of them at the end of the day they will show you who you really are to them and how they really feel about you but anyway let's get into uh, 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 just a few uh, things that I want to talk about here that are very important now, in Essence Magazine, there was a story that came out in, in Essence Magazine, uh, March the 9th, 2020. And um, it's, 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 it's a very interesting... Very interesting story. Very interesting story. Um, okay, that's not what I want. I want to get to the top. That's not what I want. I don't want her. I want to get back to the story I had. Hold on, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus. I hate this Wilson. This 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 uh um essence website because it, it just don't it don't do right. Hold on, let me find the story that I just had. Let me go over here and find this get this bookmark and get my story all right uh yeah it was done on march the 9th and it was uh again this is in um essence.com it was done march the 9th by a, a a lady by the name of kimberly i'll tell you her last name in just a minute because i don't want to uh scroll this thing until i have to um it says exclusive goldman sachs invests Ten billion dollars in new one million black women initiative. Let me read that to you again. Um, and I want to thank my subscriber. Hold on, let me get the name right. Hold on, y'all. Let me get her name right, cause I want to make sure I'm giving her the right. I'm I'm doing the right name. Yeah, I want to give credit where credit is due. It 
is WW Records 1. WW Records 1. She posted this link to this um to this article um in the comments of the uh Smara Brooke wants mandatory sex ed for kinder for kindergartners. The last um video that we just uploaded, well she posted this link in the comments. And I was going to wait until later on to do it. And something said, no, no, no. Now is the perfect time to go ahead on and talk about this. Because I got a little bit of time before I have to go to work. So um, I want to thank WW Records for uh, posting this link to this article. Now, let's get back to it. Uh, uh, let's read the title again. Exclusive. Goldman Sachs invests, Goldman Sachs invests $10 billion dollars. In new one bit one million black women initiative, one million black women initiative, right? And the and I have the same question that WW Records one had: Why not black men? Why not black men and black women? Why just black women? So right off the bat, for anybody uh, 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 who's not asleep, and for anybody who's on code, and for anybody uh, uh, who wants to. Uh, to be awoke and wants to be aware and wants to know what's really going on and and and, 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 and is not willing to just you know to, to be a, a, a sheep or just be uh you know some people say ignorance is bliss you know right there right off the bat just from the title you see the divide you see the divide and conquer war strategy strategy right there from the title so Goldman Sachs who made their who, who made their fortune you understand what I'm saying? Because their fortune was made off of the backs of slaves, off of, off of American chattel slavery. Remember, we've already talked about how Goldman Sachs and 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 and, and Chase Morgan and 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 some of these big insurance companies and all of them need to be helping the government fund reparations for descendants of American chattel slaves. Because they built their wealth from that. And that wealth has just passed on from gener generation to generation. And it has expanded, expanded and, ha and it has grown over the generations. But that foundation for all of that wealth was established off of the backs of slaves. American chattel slaves. So instead of Goldman Sachs talking about investing $10 billion in the black community. You understand what I'm saying? Investing in uh, 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 helping to build the infrastructure of the black community, they'll go separate. Like I said, this is what this is one of the tactics. Here it is, just as clear as day. This is one of the tactics of white supremacy. They got black women, and they've been doing this since the late '60s, early '70s, and now I mean this 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 mindset, this thought process is firmly rooted in some black women. That black women are like some island over here, separate from and above. The rest of the black community. So instead of them talking about helping to build up the black infrastructure and black communities, they're singling out black women and talking about they're going to invest in one million black women. Divide and conquer. To keep the black man and the black woman separate. To keep the black woman feeling like, like I said, she's somehow above and separate from the rest of the black community. The, with the largest ever investment to, spo to focus exclusively on black women. The financial giant aims to narrow opportunity gaps and contribute to the advancement of racial equity. Now how does that contribute to the advancement of racial equity when you're going to only help black women? You're not helping the black community as a whole, as a collective. You're going to single out black women and again try to separate her and make her feel like she's somehow separate and above the rest of the black community. And black women have been falling for this war tactic for years now. Over and over and over again. This divide and conquer tactic. Any black woman worth her weight in gold would be saying no to this. 
will be saying, no, that's not what our community needs. No, that's not what the black community needs. The black community needs to, needs folks that are willing to come in and invest in our communities and invest in helping us build the infrastructure of our communities and put uh, uh, businesses, not just black owned businesses by black women, but black owned businesses, period, in our communities. Okay? Now let's keep reading. And this is by Kimberly Wilson. In 1962, Malcolm X said the most neglected person in America is the black woman. And he did say that. He did say that. And, 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 and it may have been true then, but uh, black women are not neglected now. And certainly not by white supremacy. You understand what I'm saying? White supremacy has plenty for black women to do. As we see every day. As we see from Candace Owens, Stacey Abrams. Jamil Hill, Monique Presley, this uh, Samuel uh, uh, Brooke woman that's, that's proposing all of this uh, 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 foolishness for these little children, uh, uh, five and eight and eleven years old. Uh, uh, white supremacy has plenty for black women to do. They're not ignoring or neglecting black women at all. Now, almost 60 years later, that statement unfortunately still rings true for millions of black American, black, black women across the country. Now, you got to understand this is coming from Essence. And a lot of these are uh, 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 black owned or, 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 or uh, what was supposed to be black owned uh, um, uh, publications, online publications and whatever, a lot of them have stuck into this blame black men, this, 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 this divide, uh, this, this dividing tactic of trying to divide black men, trying to make it seem like, you know, black women are just the only black folks in the world. Like black, like there is no black community. They just so easily and effort, effortlessly leave out the black man and the black child. You cannot have the black community without all three. The black man, the black woman, and the black child. That's what makes up the black community, not just the black woman. And I'm a foundational black American woman. And without the black man, we have no strength in our community. We have no leadership in our community without the black man. Okay. Despite being the fastest growing group of entre entrepreneurs in the U.S., more educated than any other group by percentage of degrees earned, you heard that now, despite being the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the United States, more educated than any other group by the percentage of degrees earned, 81% of the breadwinners driving their families' economic security and the community and the community leaders working for justice at the intersection. Here we go. Here we go. The intersection of racism and sexism. See, this whole thing is bogus. This whole thing is bogus. Right off the bat, as soon as you start reading this. All of a sudden, again, here we go, trying to equate, just like what Tamika Mallory tried to do. A few months back, before uh, Joe Biden was uh, uh, was actually sworn in, Tamika Mallory actually had the nerve to try to equate uh, 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 sexism with racism and try to act like maybe, just maybe, say se sexism was just as bad, if not worse, than racism. So here you got this Kimberly Wilson doing it again in this piece. Black women have not been... Commensurately acknowledged, appreciated, or rewarded for their contributions. Still today, for example, despite their achievements, black women make 63 cents for every dollar paid to white non-Hispanic men. Well, that's your fault. That's your fault. You wanted to join up with the white women and help the white women fight their men and help the white women fight for their causes. You understand what I'm saying? Why you walked away from your community and fighting for your causes. So that's your fault. But this whole piece, as you can see, just from the first paragraph, this whole piece is going to be about totally ignoring, you understand what I'm saying, any contribution of the black man, totally ignoring the black man as, as, as any part of black 
society, even to the point of, 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 of almost ignoring black children and making this all about black women. This divide and conquer, this feminist mess, this, this, this sexism mess, all of this, all of this is going to be about. Over the past few years, and notably in 2020, in the wake of the deaths of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, but however mighty funny, when she wants to try to prove a point, she doesn't have a problem bringing up a black man. She doesn't have a problem throwing uh, George Floyd's name in there. Now everything else in this is going to be about black women. But when you want to try to make a point about racism or whatever, you don't have a problem using a dead black man's name. You don't have a problem invoking the name of George Floyd. And you got to understand, these are the people that are telling you that you needed to support uh, 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 Biden and Harris. These are the people that are telling you that you needed to support Harris because she was this black woman. And got you in the mess that you in right now. Over the past few years, and notably in 2020, in the wake of the deaths of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, countless companies and organizations made pronouncements against systematic racism, social injustices, and the inequities that feed widening wealth and health disparities in America. Many of those same organizations also made varying levels of monetary pledges and donations to black communities and organizations across the country. Nobody made any donations to black communities. So they can stop that. Nobody made any donations to black communities. They may have made donations to black community organizations like Black Lives Matter and, 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 and some of the others, but they, they, but they didn't do any investing, any direct investing in black communities. They gave money and donations to black organizations and black so-called community organizations and black so-called community leaders. But as far as them actually investing in black communities, we didn't see that. However, one company just announced the most historic investment ever in the most, in the most neglected person in America. There she is again, feeding off of that bullshit. How is the black woman the most neglected person in America, but it's the black man that's being killed and murdered and brutalized on the streets of America to this day. They say, uh, statistically, they say every 28 minutes, a black man is assaulted or brutalized by the police in America. Story after story after story after story after story. But she going to say the most neglected person in America is the black woman. Maybe it used to be that way. But white supremacy has changed that. White supremacy has found a very, very good use for black women. Well, it's a good use for them. It's a bad use for black women and the black, and the black community. In exclusive interviews with Essence, Goldman Sachs shared plans for its 1 million black women initiative, a 10 billion investment in support of black women over the next 10 years. Not in support of the black community, not in support again of helping build the black infrastructure and the, and the black community infrastructure, no, but in investing in black women. The initiative is named for and guided by the organization's goal of impacting the lives of at least 1 million black women by 2030. Now get this. I want you to hear this. Oh, I hate, I hate scrolling, uh, trying to scroll on this site right here. Oh, 
Hold on, y'all. Let me get my. I'm trying to get my place back right. Okay, and it asks the question: Why? Because when black women win, everybody wins. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody wins. Not the black community wins. You understand what I'm saying? Not black men and black women and black children win. Not the black family wins. But everybody wins when black women win. So you do understand that this is the height of this black feminine mess they got going on. For Goldman Sachs, CEO David Solomon invested in women-led businesses has been a values-driven focus since 2018 when the financial giant launched its 10,000 Women Global Program. Today, he's taking that responsibility several steps forward. Solomon explains the foundation of one million black women. Given all that happened over the course of the last year, we've done a lot of talking at the firm and even more listening to help us figure out how we can do more to end the racial equality the racial equity and the gaps that have existed in society for well too long. Okay, but well, okay then if you, if that's what your if that's what your goal is, if your goal is ra racial equality, if your goal is uh, uh, narrowing these gaps, the wealth gap, the health gap, and all of this, then why uh, why is this not an initiative for the black community? Period. Why is it just an initiative for black women? Why are you not in talking about investing in the infrastructure of black communities? Black communities that already exist. Black owned businesses that already exist. Whether they be so owned by uh, just black women or whether they be owned by black, black men or whether they be owned by black companies. You know, little small black uh, uh, firms that are just, just, just getting started or whatever. Why make it so specific that you boil it down to just black women, exclusively black women? Solomon stresses. Solomon stresses. What we are trying to do is to is is to set up the infrastructure, the commitment, and the resources to have something that's sustainable for a long period of time by re to, to really make a difference. You can do that now. You can invest in what already exists. Instead of you trying to create something. You understand what I'm saying? Well, if your money is going to create it and you're trying to create something, you're trying to create and set up an infrastructure and you're trying to create something that's going to be sustainable, then you look to this sounds to me like you're trying to set up something that you control. Something that you run. Something that you own. Not something that belongs to the actual black community. Because if you were interested in really, really helping the black community, you would start by supporting and investing in what already exists, what has already been created. And helping those black entrepreneurs and those black small business owners and those black small firm owners build and helping them to build a, a, a infrastructure and strengthen the in infrastructure in the communities where they already exist. You wouldn't be trying to do something brand new. But see, you know that if you help these black women, that these black women are going to be beholden to you. They're not going to be beholden to the black community. They're going to be beholden to you. They're going to do what you want them to do. Why? Because you have become their benefactors. Like we see already in society. With these, uh, uh, with these celebrities and with these folks that are black uh, 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 fronts. You understand what I'm saying? For these white groups, you know, all of this white support money is coming in to fund these groups and they got somebody black out to be the front person and all. That's the reason why these folks won't speak against white supremacy. That's the reason why these black folks and these celebrities, black celebrities and ballers and all of them won't say anything. Why? Because they get white money. That's who's funding them. Their money is coming from white folk, from the dominant society. Whoever controls the purse strings actually runs the show. So don't believe that just because you got a couple of black faces out there and they may be the name, the organization or two after somebody black or whatever this case may be. And they got a couple of black folks out, you know, doing all the talking and being the front people. Them black folks don't run nothing. 
They don't control nothing. That's the very reason why the NAACP has never really done anything for the advancement of colored people. Why? It was started and it was run and it was funded by the dominant society. So if you want to invest $10 billion over the next, what do you say, 10 years I think it is? If you want to invest that amount of money in specifically black women, why do you do that? Because then you become that source for those black women. You become that money for those black women. You are the ones backing them. You are the ones funding them. And what are they going to do? They're going to be beholden to you. And they're going to do what you tell them to do. They're going to speak what you tell them to speak. They're going to push what you tell them to push. And they are not going to be interested in helping the black community. Because you ain't going to let them help the black community. You're going to make it clear to them that if they try to help the black community, you may cut off their funding. If after six months from now, people are going to say, okay, where's the beef? The response is going to be, we're just getting started. There's a tendency with these things for companies to make an announcement and then for it to be, then for it to fade away. If we had said 500 million, we would have done some good things for a year, but it wouldn't have the tangible impact that we're really trying to have. Impact comes with sustained effort over a long period of time. We're very prepared for that. So they're prepared to fund these black women. You understand what I'm saying? Over a long period of time. Why? So that they can get and have the impact on black women that they want to have. Not on the black community. Because again, if they were really interested in helping the black community. If they were really interested in really helping to get rid of uh, 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 the, the, uh, the, 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 get the wealth gap between blacks and whites. If they were actually interested in getting rid of some of those gaps. And some of those uh, 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 equality uh, un inequities as they call them then that again they would invest in the black community they would invest in what is, what already exists and what has already been created in the black community they wouldn't single out black women they singling out black women why because black women have already shown white supremacy that if you single us out if you give us a little bit of money you understand what i'm saying if you make us feel special and make us feel like we're better than everybody else in the black community we will toe the line for white supremacy black women have already shown them that Mark Morial, of course, President Mark Morial, President of the uh, and CEO of the National Urban League, who has not done one thing, and who also sits on the One Million Black Women Advisory Council. So he thinks so he gonna get his little cut too. You understand what I'm saying? This is all about everybody getting the bag. This ain't about nobody doing anything to really help support and really uh, 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 uplift and undergird the black community as a whole. No, 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 no. This is about everybody in their own little individual spots getting a bag. So that they can do what they want to do, but at the end of the day, they're still going to be beholden to the white folks who hold the money. Has long understood the power of black women and advocated for their advancement. Black women have always been a force in our communities and are now in, emerging even more with the power and position they deserve. They are voters, there we go, voters and drivers of consumer taste. Exactly. Drivers of consumer taste. Black women spend more money outside of the black community with other groups than anybody else. Black women are consummate consumers. Consume, consume, consume. Spend, 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 spend. You understand what I'm saying? Almost a hundred million dollars every year goes out of the black community on hair care products alone. That's not coming from black men. That's coming from black women. So if you want to know who's taking the most money out of the black community, 
and giving it to other communities and supporting the economies of other communities. Look at black women. That's the reason why these white supremacists don't have any problem giving black women money. They don't have any problem financing black women and financing all of these little organizations that they set up and all of that. Why? Because they know at the end of the day they're going to get it all back. Black women are, are also drivers of culture, including fashion, music, and the arts, and, and now are making an undeniable impact on in politics. How? How? It's always been black women in politics. It's been black women in politics ever since, what, the 60s? Uh, 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 the late 60s, the early 70s? Okay, how has that helped the black community? How has it helped the black community to have black women in politics? Now, I'm not going to read the rest of this, but y'all can come and read it because, of course, it'll be in the description box. But this is something right here that I want to emphasize. Uh, again, in, in, in exclusive interviews with Essence, Golden Sachs shared plans for its One Million Black Women Initiative, a $10 billion investment in support of black women over the next 10 years. The initiative is named for and guided by the organization's goal of impacting the lives of at least 1 million black women by 2020, by 2030. Why? Because when black women win, everybody wins. Okay, we didn't already we didn't already discuss that. When black women win, everybody wins. Not the black community wins. You understand what I'm saying? Not black families win. You understand what I'm saying? Not black children win, but everybody wins when black women win. Why? Because it's black women now that's pushing all of this coalition mess and, and, and wanting to join forces with everybody and trying to be sister girls with everybody. You understand what I'm saying? But this is the thing that I want to focus on. Hold on. Let me get up here. I want to focus on something that she said at the very beginning of the article. Despite being the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the United States, more educated than any other group by the percentage of degrees earned. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if that's the case, Black women are more educated than any other. Black women earn more degrees than anybody in the United States. Black women hold more degrees than anybody in the United States, right? And black women are the growest, fasting group of entrepreneurs in the United States, right? Now, if that's true, then first of all, I want to ask you this question. If they're getting all these degrees, they're starting all these businesses, they're doing all of that, then please tell me who it is that's oppressing the black woman. If nobody is stopping her from being the fastest growing group of, of, of entrepreneurs in the United States, nobody is stopping her from getting any number of degrees that she wants, then please tell me who it is that's oppressing the black woman in the United States. Because when you're oppressed, you can't grow like that. When you are oppressed, you can't rise like that. When you are oppressed, you can't uh, uh, become the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs. You can't become the most educated group by the percentage of the degrees that are being earned by you. You can't become... Um... The breadwinner, as they say, and the driving uh, force of family economics and security, and uh, then you can't do that if you are the most oppressed, if you are the most neglected person in the United States. You can't do all of that. You can't accomplish all of that. You understand what I'm saying? So please tell me who it is that's oppressing the black woman in the United States. Because they'll tell you this lie that black men, heterosexual black men, are oppressing black women. Heterosexual black men are trying to hold black women back. You understand what I'm saying? And are sexist. 
and misogynistic against black women. But if that's the case, then how are these black women still accomplishing all of this? How are these black women still achieving all of this? How are these black women still earning all of these degrees and still opening all these businesses and becoming all of these great entrepreneurs if the black man has so much power to oppress you? Come on now, it's time for folks to stop being foolish. And it's time for black women to stop allowing themselves to be used by white supremacy. You understand what I'm saying? At the sake of trying to destroy the black man through them. And you still too dumb to realize that what you do to harm the black man, you do to harm yourself and the rest of the black community. Because the black community is not just made of black women. The black community is made of black men, black women, and black children. My second point with that, if you are the, grow the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs, you're more, e you're more educated by percentage of degrees than anybody else in the country, you understand what I'm saying? You are the leaders uh, of working for, uh, for, for justice in your communities. You are the driving force of family economic security and all of that. What has all of that done to help the black community? What has all of that done to help the black community? Where ha at any given time has black women alone done anything to advance the black community. Doing chattel slavery. When they were doing these uprisings. You understand what I'm saying? And, and slaves were running away. And they were doing these rebellions. And all of that. You had black women and black men fighting together. Side by side. The Seminole Wars. Which were actually just the black wars. The black Indian wars. You understand what I'm saying? You had black men, black women working together, hand in hand. Well, it was mostly black brothers out there doing the work, but there were black women involved. The Haitian Revolution. Black men and black women. You understand what I'm saying? And they even got the children involved in the Haitian Revolution. The black, what I'm, what I'm driving at is, anytime we had any excess during the 60s and the civil rights movement and all the uprisings, you understand what I'm saying, and all the riots and all the stuff that was going on during the 60s, it was black men and black women joining together. Black children were involved as well. The point I'm trying to make is, there has never been any real advance that has been accomplished or achieved on behalf of foundational black Americans in this country that was just, that just involved black women alone. Never has been. And there never will be. Every time we have made any advancement in this country as black people, we did it as a community. We did it as black men, black women, and, and in many cases, black children, all of us joining together. So please tell me how when black women win, everybody wins. Because I don't see the black community winning. I see a few, a few very well placed, you understand what I'm saying, black women that white supremacy is using as puppets. I see them, you know, rising up, you know, and, and, and rising and, and getting all kind of shine and all of this kind of stuff from mainstream media and from white supremacy and all of that. You understand what I'm saying? And that's fake. That ain't going to last long. But how has all of this that, that's being done for black women, how has that helped the black community as a collective? How does singling out black women and trying to place black women above from and, and kind of like they're separate from the rest of the black community, how does that help the black community? The Panthers, the Nation of Islam during the 50s and the 60s. You understand what I'm saying? All of these different uh, 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 folks that were, the, the Civil Rights Movement, Dr. King's Movement, SNCC. You understand what I'm saying? And all of these different organizations and all of these different folks that came together to make the decade of the 1960s what it was. These were not 
organizations. These were not movements that separated men from women, black men from black women. These were movements, organizations, power structures, to be honest, that included the whole community. The Black Panthers included the community by feeding the children. You understand what I'm saying? Starting schools for the children. That's how the Black Panthers involved the whole entire community. Setting up uh, 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 health clinics and all of this kind of stuff in the different neighborhoods for the whole community. So any advancement that we have made in this country as foundational black Americans, we did it. And, 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 and there were many, many cases uh, back then where black immigrants were riders and they were a part of all of this. Like I said, Stokely Carmichael and others. But it was done by the community, the black community coming together and joining forces. So please tell me how singling out black women to invest in just black women is supposed to help the black community. It's supposed to help the racial inequities and all the gaps that we experience in the black community as a collective. It's not. And that's the whole point. That's why you don't see any of these companies coming out talking about they're going to invest billions of dollars in the black community. Yeah, they'll give donations to organizations. They'll give donations to black community leaders. They'll give donations to these black community organizations and all of that. Might even give donations to individual people. But you don't see any of these comp companies, you don't see any of these folks coming out saying, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to invest X amount of money, so many billions of dollars in the black community, in the community that already exists, in the community where they have already created small businesses. In the community where they're already trying to form and trying to build you understand what I'm saying? And trying to lay the foundation for an infrastructure. We're going to go in and we're going to support what these black folks are already doing. You don't see any of them saying that. Because that might actually help the black community as a whole. No, 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 no. This is another situation with this Goldman Sachs mess. This is another situation where they're going to try to pick and choose you understand what I'm saying? Who they going to fund. And because they doing the funding, at the end of the day, they will control what that person does. What that person says. How that person moves and operates and functions. And those one, billion, uh, one million black women that they supposed to be investing in, not one of them will stand up for the black community as a collective. Not one of them. So I just wanted to bring this to you and point this out for the white supremacist uh, 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 divide and conquer tactic that it really is. And to show that once again, because black women have made it clear, found some foundational black women, black American women, these black immigrant women, all of them are making it clear. Not all of them, but you know what I'm saying? They're making it clear that they are with that they that they are available to be bought. That they are they they are, they are for sale. They are for sale. Come invest with me. Come spend your money on me. You understand what I'm saying? Come invest in me. You understand? And you'll have my loyalty forever. And I'll push whatever narrative you want me to push. You understand what I'm saying? I'll push whatever agenda you want me to push. But I certainly won't be available and I certainly won't be working towards helping the entire black community. So this article will be listed in the description box. Uh, 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 so you can go and you can read this article yourself 
And, um, you know, you can finish reading it because I didn't want to read all of it because it, it was pissing me off because it's obvious what this is really all about. You understand what I'm saying? This is more of this black feminist uh, 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 divide and conquer mess, you know, to lift the black woman up above everybody else in the black community. Like I said, and put her out there on an island by herself like she's above and separate from the rest of the black community. And these black women just keep on falling for this mess. They just keep on falling for it. Why? Because there's a bank involved. They're selling out. They're being bought off. And again, black folks understand. If you want to know what's happening to the money in the black community and why we can't keep most of the money in the black community so that we can build our own economic structure, so we can have our own infrastructure, you understand what I'm saying, so that we can start really building our communities and turning them into what communities are really supposed to be, is because most of that money is being spent out by black women and given to other groups to support their economies. To support their lifestyles. To support their family and their children. While our communities just go to waste. While our communities are laying in ruin. Because somehow or another they have convinced these black women that they can be honorary white women. And I want to point out something else to you. Um... On 2028, on, on 2028, 2021, on February the 28th uh, of this year, Jason Black did, uh, and I mean, uh, 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 this is the importance of the new black media. This is the importance of it. This is the reason why the new, the new black media is so important and, 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 and it needs all of your support. On February the 28th, 2020, Jason Black did a broadcast called black women with useless degrees right and i think he had four five maybe six black women that called into the broadcast and that talked and shared their experiences talked about the number of degrees they had the level of degrees that they had many of them had bas many of them had masters uh, masters degrees uh, a few of them had more than one degree and all but the commonality was none of these women were actually working in the fields where they had their degrees. None of them. And there were, I think there were two or three of them that were on there. One of them, I know for a fact, had, I think it was over $150,000 worth of student loan debt. And then there was another one that had $110,000 worth of student loan debt. And they were all talking about how absolutely useless and worthless these degrees were to them. And these women with all this debt, with all this student loan debt were mothers. As a matter of fact, I think both of them were single mothers. So not only were they trying to take care of a house, trying to take care of a child, trying to provide for a family or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? They were also saddled with all of this debt. Which takes me back to more educated than any other group by, by percentage of degrees earned. So they use that to try to make black women feel like they special. Try to make black women feel like they above, first of all, above black men. And second of all, above other groups. Because you got all these degrees, you're so educated, you got all these degrees. When you got folks are now, when you got black women who are now finally fed up and they're coming out speaking about how worthless and useless these degrees are and how these degrees left them, yeah, educated, but also with no real money, not making any real money, you understand what I'm saying? And saddled with humongous, enormous student loan debt. These are the black women that finally woke up and smelled the coffee and realized white supremacy, 
You understand what I'm saying? And falling for that okie doke with the women's movement. You understand what I'm saying? And them white and them lies that them white women was telling you uh, 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 that that y'all was sisters and that they wanted you to join the sisterhood and that y'all had something in common because she was being oppressed by her man and you being oppressed by your man. So we just going to be independent women and we're going to do this on our own. You fell for that bullshit and that bullshit didn't do anything but leave you saddled with worthless education worthless degrees and a whole lot of debt and now in order to try to get out of some of that debt and to try to find your way clear of some of all of that debt now you're willing to sell out to white supremacy so you can try to get a little bag but I'm going to have a link to that show in the description box and and, 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 and and I would urge all black women especially young black women you understand what I'm saying or, 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 or if you know by any chance I do have any teenagers or any younger black women that have started listening to this uh to, to, the, to, to this broadcast I would urge you to go listen to what these women have to say and listen to how these women ended up you understand what I'm saying? With these worthless, useless degrees and all of this worthless, useless education and all of this debt. So they're basically no good to themselves. They certainly can't do anything to help black society and black and the black community as a collective. And understand, it's those kind of women, those kind of black women saddled with that kind of debt that white supremacy wants to get to so that they can offer them some money, so that they can offer them a way out of all that debt. But instead of being in debt to the government for student loans, now you in, in debt to these white folks that are funding you and you got to do what they tell you to do. You got to say what they tell you to, to say. You got to push what they tell you to push. And if they tell you not to support your own community, or they're going to pour their funding, or you're going to turn around and you're going to be slapped right back with that student loan debt because just like they made it disappear, they can make it reappear. And we just keep falling for the same okie doke. You understand? We keep falling for the same. They still keep making the same plays and we keep falling for them. And we keep buy, allowing, bought and paid for folks like these folks at Essence and, and these folks at Madame Noir and these folks at the Griot and, 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 and these folks at the Root and all of this stuff and these other folks on mainstream media and all these black folks like Joy Reid and, 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 um, and, uh, and, um, Angela Rye and all of these different black folks that, that white supremacy puts out in front to speak to us. Black, especially black women, keep allowing those people to, 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 to get you all caught up in these traps. They doing black women the same way they did the, 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 the infiltrators doing uh, 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 the 60s COINTEL PRO uh, a program. You understand what I'm saying? Where they would find black folks that that, that 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 you know that were facing charges or facing some kind of criminal charge or, or, or something like that, and they would make a deal with them. Well, if you come work for us, you understand what I'm saying, and you be willing to get a little bit of information here for us or a little bit of information there for us or whatever, we'll make all of this go away for you. Okay, say for instance you go along with that. All right, yeah, they'll make it go away for you as long as you're doing what they want you to do. But mess around and buck them. Mess around and not do what they tell you to do. You understand what I'm saying? You'll find yourself facing far worse for bucking them than you were facing before you ever got caught, hooked up with them in the first place. So either way, you trap. You would have done better to go and do your time for the original uh, 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 charges you was facing or whatever. And black women are in that same boat. So you get 
get so caught up on them giving you them bags and you get so caught up on them giving you that little media attention or giving you that little media job or whatever the case may be or you get caught up in, in, in that little uh, 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 paycheck you getting every month or every two weeks or whatever. You understand? Till you willing to sell your soul. And you get so far in it that when you want to say no, you can't. Because now they got you trapped. But y'all, please make sure you go down in that description box and you go listen to this uh, to this broadcast that Jason did talking about this very thing, about all of these black women being so educated, you know, and holding so many degrees and all of that. And come to find out, most of these degrees are just as worthless and useless as they can be. All they did for those black women was, was cause them to end up in a, in a, in a pile of debt. So they left one form of slavery to go into another form of slavery. So I thought this was real important. I'm going to shut up now. Uh, but I thought this was real important. There was some other stuff that I wanted to discuss, but it can wait till later on. But I, I just really, really thought it was really important to get to this article, break this article down. More foundational black American women, more black, more, more black American women, period, need to come out and speak against this, need to come out and break this thing down and be honest and tell the truth about what this really is, that this is just simply a divide and conquer tactic by white supremacy instead of go golden sack, golden sack talking about investing 10 billion dollars in black women what they need to be doing like I said because they made the foundation of their wealth off of chattel slavery they need to be joining up with the federal government to give us our reparations to pay us what's owed to us but understand they will then turn around down the road and use this and say well we gave you reparations we gave it to you when we did that $10 billion initiative for black women only. So we gave you your reparations. You see the trick in this? The Jedi mind tricks that they play on these folks. But see, most of the black women that will buy into this are black women that, 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 that don't agree with uh, 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 reparations. You understand what I'm saying? Or they can't get reparations if we was to get it or whatever. Because they're not interested in the collective. They're not interested in uplifting and building up the, uh, the black community as a whole. They're just interested in what they can get for themselves. So I need y'all to make sure that, you know, you get in here, you read this stuff. And, 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 and you see what's going on, you go watch Jason's broadcast uh, where these black women talk about uh, the, the, the degrees and how they fell in the trap and how they allowed themselves to be led into this trap. And the only thing it left them with was all of this mountain of debt. All right. Y'all, please like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, 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 please. Um, share this video. You know I tell you to have these conversations on social media and off social media. Please hit that uh, 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 bell notification so you can be notified when we upload. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And again, I want to thank um, my subscriber, uh, WW Records One, for bringing this to my attention so that we can have a discussion about it. Now, I got to go get myself prepared for, to go to work. Uh, y'all, get on code if you're not on code. And if you are on code, stay on code. And y'all have a good afternoon.